Hi everyone, welcome to this new quick video. My name is Paul. This time I want to show you how to use vegetation engine with seed mesh assets. It is pretty simple. The vegetation engine already have presets for it. And in this case, I'll be using the desert package to scatter the vegetation. I'm using Vegetation Studio Pro. Remember, you can download the biome in my Discord server in case you have this tool. So okay, let's let's get started. I already imported um, vegetation the vegetation engine directly from here the package manager. Here you can see the version of the asset that I'll be using with Unity 2022. Okay, this is a high definition render pipeline project and right now the vegetation is using Sydney shaders. Okay, let's let's start open the package uh, sorry the prefab converter here in window boxophobic the vegetation engine and prefab converter. And I'm going to create a new plane. Okay. To import the assets here. Um I'm going to start with this folder. Let's go to prefabs and I'm going to import everything here. Okay, the best way to convert the vegetation is selecting the same kind of plants because you go here and select all the plants you can see that there are no preset available you you need to choose it but a quick a quick way to know the kind of the asset you know the kind of plant is selecting one by one for example if I go here you can see uh, the prefab converter already know which kind of asset are you selecting uh, this is uh, Sydney studio and vegetation here is also the same all of these assets must be the same the only different asset must be these ones uh, this is in the in the category of grass so the best way to convert the assets is for example selecting all of the same kind in this case let's go and select all of these ones that are in the same category that is vegetation and just press and convert and that's it how you can see it looks almost the same but with vegetation engine we are going to improve the wind animation uh, now let's convert these other assets and selecting everything we can use the material manager to modify things like uh, wind animation. Let's go to window, boxophobic, the vegetation engine, and material manager. I'm going to set this here. If you are using the Unity Terrain System, the vegetation must be updated now. In my case, 
with the Utation Studio Pro, I must press on Refresh Prefab. Here. Okay, now I have all the prefabs of the ground foliage folder. This ones, these ones are static objects, so you can let us use it with shaders. But in case you need to use the Mutation Engine shaders too, you can do it the same way. Okay, for some reason, those are using a vegetation shader. Um, you can simply change it after the conversion. For the other plants, we have two kind of plants. This set as vegetation. And these ones as grass. So let's start with one kind of them, then the other. Now I'm going to refresh the prefabs here in Vegetation Studio Pro. Now, let's try with the cactus. Those are more tricky to convert. I recommend to use uh, those with seed mesh shaders instead because those do not have wind animation. So the look is going to be the same. In most cases, you will need to do some adjustments to the materials to get the same result. But in case you need to convert it, here's the way. I imported one variation of each cactus kind, but all of these aren't the same preset kind as cactus, so let's convert it. How you can see, the conversion is not as good as the plants. The thorns are not well converted, and some cactus are completely white. Uh, let's revert. And let's open advanced settings to remove wind animation. Just setting this here as constant block. Also this and this one. Now the the cactus that were completely white. Let's change the preset to vegetation. Nice, and for the other cactus, I'm going to use the cactus preset and set torn textures manually. Okay, just make sure that this is in constant black, same this and this to remove the wind animation on this kind of plants and also here is using the cactus preset to 
to fix the torn textures well we just need we need to go to the torn folder here select this set the textures manually change the alpha value normally I use 25 and let's copy the material properties and paste it For some reason, the alpha value is not updating. Just open the material, and that's it. Uh, let's do the same with this other kind of cactus because these ones use a different kind of torn. And for the flowers, well, we can come here, copy the properties, and paste it. Another thing that might not be well converted are the, the billboards. So you must fix it manually, same as the cactus torns here in the in the project in cactus uh, textures and materials you will find a billboard folder with two sets so you must go here for example select the last LOD this one is in set number two and set textures manually okay this one is in the set number one and then you you can just come here and copy the material properties to paste it in the other ones remember this is like a bug or something you just need to open the material Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you can find it helpful and I will let you here in the description the link to my Discord 
server in case you want to join and keep talking about this topic so see you in the next video